everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Casey, and if you saw my vision board video, you know that I wanna do a few bigger projects this year, and I chose the first one to be a blanket ladder. So let's get to it. The first step is to figure out where you want to put your blanket ladder and how many blankets you want to be able to put on it. This will give you an idea of how big to make your blanket ladder. This is the space that I want to put mine in. It's a decent size, so I'm gonna go with an 18 inch wide ladder and I have three blankets to put on it. I decided to go with one by twos because I didn't want it to be too bulky looking. I got a total of three one by twos and had the guy at Home Depot cut them down for me. I have two at five feet long and five at 18 inches long each for the rungs. Something to keep in mind is the total width you want your blanket ladder to be. Do you want just your rungs to be 18 inches or do you want the entire blanket ladder to be 18 inches? If you want the entire blanket ladder to be 18 inches, you'll want to subtract the width of your rails before you cut your rungs out. So for instance, my rungs are three quarters of an inches across here. If I wanted my entire blanket ladder to be 18 inches wide, I would need to subtract three quarters of an inch from 18 inches for each of my rails. So I would go for a 15 and a half inch cut on my rails instead of 18. The next thing is to sand down the wood so it's nice and smooth. You don't want to get splinters just by moving around your house, so sanding it down is necessary. Again, check out last week's video for more information about sanding with a quarter sheet sander. I'll leave a link for it in the description and the top right corner for you. After you sand everything down, you can paint it or stain it whatever color you want. There are a lot of distressing tutorials out there if you want to go that route or you can paint it a high gloss black if you want more of a modern look. I'm really liking this dark stain called Provincial lately, so I'm gonna use this for my blanket ladder. I'll also have a video going into a lot more detail on staining coming in a few weeks, so make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on. Next, I want to mark where I want to put my rungs, because that's where I'm going to drill a pilot hole and put my screw. So I have five foot pieces here and five rungs. So I'm going to do one at four inches from the top, 12 inches down, another 12 inches down, so on and so forth. And then the very last rung will be eight inches from the bottom. We're going to be doing two screws for each rung on each side so that way it doesn't spin when you get it um, when you start screwing things in so i'm going to mark mine mine are about an inch and a half apart what you want to do to figure out how where you want to put your two screws you want to take your full measurement mine is an inch and a half if you have a two by four um, your measurement will be different so measure it first divide it by three so I have an inch and a half here, divided by three is a half inch. So I'm gonna go a half inch in from one side and a half inch in from the other side. And then draw a line straight across. And then those two marks is where I'm going to drill my pilot holes. The next thing to mark is the center of these boards. You can just use, this is just what I have handy, you can just use just a regular ruler, but you want to mark an X on the end of the board. So there, now I have uh, X marks the spot right in the middle of my board so I know where to drill. So I'm going to mark again at a half an inch and one inch so that's where I can drill my holes. So 
And the next step is to drill. If you're doing this on a regular table, you want to use a scrap piece of wood just so you don't drill into the table. But I'm using this on sawhorses, so I have open space underneath my wood. When you're doing the drilling for the small pieces, you don't want to drill straight up and down like this. That's not a good angle. If you put it on the floor, it might be, but I have a little bit of a trick for you. If you place it flat, you wanna get down on the level of the piece. So here, I'm just gonna sit here and hold it very tight, essentially using my hand as a clamp and not pushing too hard with the drill. I'm not going too far in with the screw, so I don't need to go too far in with the drill bit. Now I'm going to drill the screws in, but only until they come out the other side. And then line up your pre-drilled holes in the ends of your rungs to the screws that you put through the rails already and screw them in all the way. I have a beginner's guide to using a cordless drill coming next week, so subscribe and sign up for notifications to get some helpful tips about drilling.